Hello, my name is Dr. Ahmed Magoub. I'm one of the pulmonary critical care physicians at KRMC. And today I'm gonna to be talking about COPD. COPD stands for chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It's a chronic inflammation and damage of the small airways and air sacs of the lung that damage leads to inability of the lung to transfer gases and exchange them between the air, your lung, and the blood, and vice versa. The most important and the first risk factor for COPD is cigarette smoking. It's estimated that 80% of all COPD patients they have a positive smoking history. With that, we have chronic exposure to toxic chemicals dust particles and secondhand smoking playing a role as well in COPD. Also, there is a genetic disease called alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency that runs into families. Alpha-1 antitrypsin is a protein that protects your lung. And when it's absent, your lung will get a damage. That damage will lead eventually to COPD as well. Mild and initial cases of COPD can be asymptomatic means with no obvious symptoms. Later on, the symptoms can be in the form of shortness of breath, which can be progressive. Initially starts during activity. When it gets worse, it can be at rest. Also, we have coughing, which is oftentimes productive of mucus or phlegm. We have wheezing, which is that whistling sound during breathing, and also fatigue. COPD is diagnosed first on the basis of history and clinical presentations, basically your symptoms. Then you see your doctor, your doctor will run some series of tests, starting with a breathing test or lung function test or pulmonary function test in which we assess the totality of your lung function. In addition to that, some imaging such as chest X-ray or CAT scan, which is a form of advanced chest X-ray can show the COPD changes and the emphysema, it changes in your lung. Emphysema means damage of the small air sacs of the lung. Also, with the patients, they have family history of COPD, alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, the level of that enzyme should be tested as well. Unfortunately, there is no treatment to cure COPD. However, we can control COPD so you can slow its progression and you live with it, such as you live with diabetes and high blood pressure. As far as the treatment for COPD, first, we have supportive measures. Starts by the most effective measure, which is quitting smoking. Quitting smoking is the most important effective measure you can help your lung with. Also, oxygen supplementation, when you become eligible for it, respiratory pertinent vaccination, such as flu vaccine on seasonal annual basis, pneumonia vaccines, and now COVID vaccines as well. Pulmonary rehabilitation, this is the physical therapy of your lung to strengthen your respiratory muscles and make you breathe better. In addition to those supportive measures, we have treatments. And those tra treatments are mainly given via inhalation or nebulizations. We have bronchodilators that open up your airways and make you breathe better. We have inhaled steroids, anti-inflammatory medication, trying to combat the inflammation caused upon you by COPD. We have other medications, oral, to reduce the frequency of COPD. And eventually, if you become eligible and your COPD is in this stage, lung transplantation is uh, considered. With all that, close follow-up with your lung doctor on a regular basis is crucial and I advise every one of you with COPD to do so. Thanks for sharing your time with me and watching our videos. For more information, please feel free to contact us or visit our website. Once again, this is Dr. Ahmed Magoop. Have a wonderful day and stay healthy.